the number and number one and Sewa and me here are fun in person but on camera they are not fun on camera and I like Okay, hi everyone. I actually didn't want to record today because I was really hurt, but um, today I went for a TV audition or GH1 TV presenter audition. Let me tell you all about it. So I just got back from the audition and I don't know, I feel terrible, I feel bad, I don't know how to feel. So this is what happened. In the month of February or March, I'm not too sure, I saw an Instagram post on um, Sewa Amihia's page calling for um, interested individuals who want to participate in an audition or something so i just tested my name to show interest in it and via test message and i never heard anything from them until 31st of august when i was called to come for an audition which was today now i was supposed to report at 7 a.m and come along with an id card plus Ten dollars it is for registration, which is fine. God knows how nervous I was. Throughout the whole week, like from Monday to Thursday, I was so tense, I was so nervous, but hey, it's part of it. I woke up very early, say four, to get ready. Um I got to the place that is GH1 um by 6:40, I should say. When I got there, I was number nine, but something happened, I don't know, I, I came down to 21, anyways. Now, fast forward, we waited for more than four hours, almost five to six hours, because I got to my intern around one o'clock, one something p.m., that was the time I actually entered, and this is what happened. Now you would be i don't know i don't know we were never informed nothing i did research the research i did was about the company about the hosts that is the panel and nana abba and amwa sewa ami here bridget otu like i did thorough research on them but when we got there we were i'll show a video I don't know if you'll be watching it now or later, I don't know, but I'll show a video. Um, I like blue because it uh, makes sense. I briefed that you introduce yourself for about 40 seconds and then you move on to the next thing. So, it was at the verge of me entering when someone told me that, what do you want to do? And I was like, entertainment host not news like i don't want to read news so she said do you know that you're supposed to have a program come up with a program i was like what i thought you'd be given a script or something you know but apparently the scripts are for those who want to do the news but for the entertainment host come up with a program so as soon as she told me i was trying to form something up then i was called I walked into the room and cameras everywhere. I don't know. I was. I don't know if to say I was not ready. Maybe. Because as soon as I got there, no one they didn't even ask you to introduce yourself. They were like, Cardimel? I said, yes, Cardimel. Okay. Wow us. That is impress us. And I was like, okay. Now, to be honest, if the lady had not talked told me anything i would have been fumbling at least worse than what i did but i i had an idea what she kind of meant so i was like um you're welcome back to g 
Oh, baby, you are welcome once again. I don't know, something like that. My name is Kadimo. I'm your host. Today, we are talking, or we're going to talk about... Now, to be honest, the first thing that came into mind was prayer and fasting. Like, it was not even about musicians, fashion. Me now, my mind did not do that side crowd. Like, I don't think about those things. It was prayer and fasting. And I felt like prayer and fasting, I don't know if I look... Sounds like relationship and beauty. Massa, the bottom line is I messed up big time. To me, that's what I think. And I was like, I was still fumbling. And they asked me to start again, start again. And the tension in the room was so serious. Oh my goodness. It was so serious. I had to do the last one. I'm like, Okay, my name is Kadima, but you can call me Kadi B like the way I do on my YouTube channel. It was after the experience, like I was broken. I was so broken. Not to say it really mattered, but well, I have the least idea or the a little idea about journalism or the media. Um I have no idea what goes on in GH1. I don't know the program somebody mentioned duvet or do I have the little idea about it in fact not little no idea so I was actually learning everything you know then you ask me then why do you why did you go there I felt GH1 gives the a bigger platform for me to be able to impact life especially when it comes to teens and youth I really want to impact lives you know I normally go to schools or churches to host programs and all that so i thought this is a good opportunity for me to voice out so why tv i want to be seen i want to be heard i want to impact that is the bottom line so that's why i was actually going to gh1 but hey the other side of me felt like i didn't deserve it i didn't it wasn't mine you know a whole lot of things i don't know Honestly, I felt that I felt God left me. I felt like I've prayed for this, you know, for a long time. People tell me, you can do radio, you can do TV, you can do something, you know. And now finally it's here. I got there and I felt I was alone. I felt God left me. And I was like, God, if you know you, I'm not going to make it through, why did you allow me to go? And then I keep hearing this, that everything happens for a purpose. I'm like, what good can come up from this? Like, I think I was so hard on myself. <sighs> so yes, this is my experience at GH1 today. The presenter, what? presenter audition to be presenter audition or something but then i got to learn something which was the number and number one and sewa and me here are fun in person but on camera they are not fun on camera the main business they are, they are serious people because um you see the way i said because the number and number one will not take it she wants you to bring out the words because like I learned just a little, I think less than one minute with them, I learned a lot. I, I learned to speak good English. <laughs> I want to say thank you so much for the opportunity. Um so what I'm here for the interview, the short interview we did. Thank you so much for um the corrections. You know, Nana Banamwa, you are an amazing person. I love your personality. Thank you, Bridget Otu. Like she, her smile was radiant. Like I, I just love her. I don't know. The whole thing was both bad and good. But hey, I'm looking at the good side of it, the brighter, better part of it. And yeah, that was my experience. And God never left me. Like I'm still his baby girl. I'm still the king's daughter. It happens. It really happens. To all those who are still there, I wish you all the best. 
those who would go tomorrow i wish you all the best prepare you will never be told you will be told just as you are about to enter so prepare and yeah i'm i'm fine <laughs> okay i'm hard to broken but i'm fine i'm really fine uh, Alright, so thank you so much for watching to the end of this video and if you're out there and you feel left alone you feel you've been disappointed one way or the other trust me i feel your pain i'm sorry you also went through it but one thing i know for sure is god is about to open a mega door for you don't give up trusting in god because he hasn't given up on you sometimes you feel you're alone yes I felt I was alone today, God, but hey, my Bible makes me understand that he's the same God and tomorrow, so we have nothing to worry about and he has still got you, don't forget to subscribe, let me just still calm down, you know, because I just, I just got back, I love you.